After having been a police officer for 27 years and responded to numerous acts of domestic violence, I was asked to provide some safety tips for anyone who may be on shelter in place, quarantine or lockdown with an abuser or someone in a stressful relationship. The first rule is make sure you have a plan B. If it gets so bad, you need to have friends, family, or someplace you can safely escape to with your children, enough cash, food, and documentation to protect yourself for a couple of days. Also, remember, law enforcement is still active. You can still get a temporary restraining order. Even though the court system may be closed, law enforcement has on-call and on-duty judges to take care of emergent situations. Additionally, try to practice avoidance. If you know what your abuser's hot buttons are, do your best to try to attempt to avoid them. Try to practice social distance even inside your own residence. If someone is stressed, read the signs. We've been in these relationships long enough to see when the signs of stress are either on us or someone else. So remember, avoidance, seeing signs of stress, conflict avoidance, stress resolution, and verbal diffusion are all kinds of things. Now is not the best time to pick on somebody. Now is not the best time to defend small things. We have to have thick skin to get through these. In no way am I suggesting that we take our abuser's verbal, physical, or emotional punishment or distance, but I am saying let's plan our life, let's plan our escape, and let's plan how we're going to deal with it and potentially escape if we have to. Finally, if you do have to have a plan to defend yourself or escape, make that plan in your head now and figure out what you are and are not comfortable with doing. If violence is around and violence is possible, defend yourself, defend your children. Don't be afraid to pre-plan with your neighbors if you have to get outside and have somebody help you. So again, 911 works, the police still respond, domestic violence shelters are around, and hotlines that you can call for assistance, help, or advice are still there. So remember, the sign and cycle of violence can be exacerbated during a shelter in place or a lockdown. So protect yourself, be aware of stress in yourself, be aware of stress in your roommate, be aware of your escape options, and have that plan ready to go at a moment's notice. I hope you're safe, and I hope you're well. Exercise, eat healthy, and be ready.